you are there. You wonder, how do I share my faith? Maybe you don't know what to say or you are terrified bring up the topic. I'd like to share with you a few steps on how you can prayerfully bring this to pass. First of all, connection. You need to connect with a person firstly. If this is a person that you already have a relationship with, then you can flow from everyday conversations like fashion, soccer, football, and get a bridge to connect you into spiritual matters. Second, if it's a person that is a total stranger, first establish a relationship by getting to know who they are, a little bit about their church background, and then you can go into spiritual matters. The second step is diagnosis. Find out if this person is sure they're going to heaven. And secondly, what makes them absolutely sure they're going to heaven? Thirdly, share your faith. Now, what makes you brings you to the point of sharing your faith? If they gave an answer of faith in Jesus Christ to the second question, faith in Jesus Christ alone, then you just ask them for their testimony and praise the Lord for that. But if they had any other answer other than faith in Jesus Christ alone, then go ahead and share your faith using these five points. The first one is the fact that heaven is a free gift. Romans chapter 6 verse 23, that the gift of God is eternal life. And it also says, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. Secondly, man, man is a sinner. And since man is a sinner, he cannot save himself. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. It also says, be perfect therefore, as your heavenly father is perfect. The third point is about God. God is merciful and therefore he does not want to punish us. The Bible tells us that God is love. But the same Bible which tells us that God is love also tells us that God is just and therefore he must punish every sin. It says he does not leave the guilty go unpunished. The fourth point is Jesus Christ. Who is he? Jesus Christ is both God and man. It is written, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. It is also written that we all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. The fifth point is faith. You need to receive Jesus Christ into your heart by faith. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Therefore, you need to trust in Jesus Christ alone for your eternal life. After you've explained these five points to your prospect, then give them a chance to commit to Christ. And the way you give them that chance to commit is by simply asking, would you like to receive the gift of eternal life? And when they say so, then lead them in a simple prayer where they express their faith in the Lord Jesus. After they've said that prayer, don't just leave them there alone. Go ahead and share with them five means of growth. Firstly, read your Bible, pray, be committed to your local church, ensure you have fellowship with other believers, and lastly, witness. Share your faith freely with all those around you, your neighbors, your colleagues, your friends, and all of them. God bless you.